Yeah. Bad can make you crash out. I don't want to know nothing. Don't tell me nothing it. about nothing. That's hard. I and like I know, it. I I know sometimes it could be weird because it could be criticism in there. It could be money in the comments. Somebody trying to reach out to you, but I just don't. The comments to the devil because people can say anything to get to you, and they know that. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Bro, this is hot. bro, for the longest. For the last five years, people don't know this. I don't go through my mentions on Instagram. How you can go through your mentions and see where you're tagged? I don't. I don't. I, for the last five years, on my kid, I have not went in the into my mentions on purpose, like to scroll and see. I, I just don't do it because it's a lot of negative energy that will fuck up your day, trick you out of position, calling you all type of names, and um, I just don't do it. I, I I don't. Wow. I can't. Now my DMs, I I like go through my DMs and see who like hitting me, but I don't go through my mentions because of shit like that. The shit that you're talking about, you could be having a good day, and any allegation narrative could pop up and it can mess with your head. Wow. And then once you see the same narrative over weeks and months, then it start to mess with you. Then you feel like you got to defend yourself, and that's when you get tricked out of position. Wow. So I don't I don't mess with none of that. Wow. I don't mess with none of that. I gotta ask you. Um, I don't even read comments on my interviews. I don't do none of that. None but of it, none. So some some can be positive none. though. My mom and dad will call me and be and tell me good or bad news. I say I don't care about none of that. They watch don't, it, boy. Yes, my mom and dad watch all my shit. They my biggest fans. Wow, they watch. Watch it. my dad watch. So they everything. watch Boss Talk. Yeah, man, that's hard. Yeah. Next time, Shout I'm, out to next time <laughs> I'm gonna bring next time I'm gonna bring my dad up here. That'll be hard. But he watches everything. I don't. I don't. I don't. I tell him, yo, I don't care about nothing. Like, don't tell me nothing. Because it keeps me just working. It keeps me tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Good or bad. Good can make you start being lazy. Yeah. Bad can make you crash out. I don't want to know nothing. Don't tell me nothing it. about nothing. That's hard. I and like I know I, I, I know sometimes it could be weird because it could be criticism in there. It could be money in the comments. Somebody trying to reach out to you. But I just don't. The comments are the devil because people can say anything to get to you and they know that. Wow. I don't want... But do you ever, okay, so when you put out videos, do you ever go back and watch, because you don't edit your own videos. No. Nah. Do you ever go back and watch your own videos? Sometimes, uh, I don't like listening to my own voice. I don't know why I'm like that. Are you like that? I just don't. Like, once it's out there, it's out there. Once it's in the universe, there's nothing I could do. That's just how I treat it. I, I don't go watch them. Now, I may, I'm not even a numbers guy either. Like, um, when But you I, can learn how to be better, though. Yeah, but I that's just come with time. I, I don't I don't wanna go back and, and, and watch nothing. But I'll go back and like look at the numbers after a week because I don't want I believe in the numbers could like mess up your grind. Like mm -hmm. when you're not having good numbers in a certain week, it can make you discouraged or I don't like when I tell you I just we just push the button and go, that's how I am. That's hard. I like it. I like it because it basically keeps you from losing focus exactly. at all. Bro, the internet will fuck your head excuse my fuck your head up. No, I get it. Will it. it will mess you up. What do you think about um you be seeing no jumper? I know you see everything that they going through. Yeah. It's always some man, you know, you started a podcast, yeah, and and I I what well, I want to say start po I want to say you start a podcast. You start jumping on camera more. I'm so happy about yeah. that because you your voice. Everybody already know your uh -huh. voice, so it's like you taking another step. Right, right. What made you start getting? Because I seen your interview with uh, uh, Charleston. I seen your interview with Rain yeah. and uh, that, yeah. the, what's that boy name? FYBJ man. Yeah. man. He's going crazy Let's right Let's start now. right there. I gotta yeah. ask you about him, but anyway, like, what made you jump in the front um, of the just camera? Just to help the brand. Um, just just really just to help the brand for real. Um, I just felt like it was a part of time to where, like I told you, if Say Cheese was to er if anything was to happen, ever happen with Say Cheese, the Sean Cotton brand could still stand on something. That makes sense. So that's really it. Um, I really don't care about being seen no, or anything of that nature. But it helps the brand. Like when you're out and about, I know sometimes people. Yeah, they don't. They know. Yeah, it just helps the brand. Like endorsements, deals, yeah. all type of shit. So yeah, I think Big D was the first one told me that you was about to start doing that yeah. and that you was contemplating doing it. Mm -hmm. He was like, he finna start getting in front yeah. of that camera. We talked about it. I was yeah. like, he finna do it. Damn on. man. D, how, how, like how? Yeah, I know. Does that still affect you? Man, what? I be thinking like, too. what the hell? Like, bro, like all these whole ass niggas out here, y'all had to take a good fam, like a good man. A good family Do you man. ever find yourself picking up your phone to call him? Man, I just be, sometimes just be wanting to just like. Me too. Just post them or like, 
Like I do want to like I be, I got a kid of my own, but I just sometimes just want to go over to like his crib and like check on the family because Colton his nephew his cousin is my best friend. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. He told but me I that. don't know if it's too soon. Like I just be battling with like, damn, no, is it too, it's soon, not too soon or it's not too like soon. I don't want to be in nobody's way, bro? Because like, you know, at least you. Go. It's not like he going every day. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I bought the whole family uh something for Christmas. I usually don't talk about this stuff on right. camera, but I still even haven't took it to him because it's like really. I just don't want to. Bro, I get it. Like damn. I called him. I called his phone number once since he been passed away, and you I did? yeah I was going. Did it ring? Yeah, it rang. I was gonna talk. I don't know. I was gonna talk to his wife and just see if she needed anything. And yeah, I needed, and she yeah. didn't. She didn't answer. Um. I wonder but who has his phone. I don't know. I just know that I called, you know, because at the end of the day, man, I called when he was living, and I met his yeah. son here. He brought his son here to the store mm -hmm. a few times, like, and I just felt like I know his son, and, like, if I could do anything to be a part of helping. And she put our video out first when she when she said they was announcing the channel to come back. Mm -hmm. She put a video of him being on yeah. here. That's how she reintroduced it. They tagged us in it and stuff, things like that. Uh, when he passed, and it's whoever had his phone text us, told us all the funeral. So it's somebody, and I know she know. So I'm pretty sure that's yeah. her doing that. So I don't want want her to ever think that me and my wife, if she ever need anything on our side mm. because of that relationship me and him had, right. I'm willing to do whatever I can to help whatever situation. Exactly. You know, that's the way you feel as well. Yeah. Big D would call a lot. He would always check on me. Man. Ever since I started, when I called, he knew Anquan, and, and the thing, I, and I'm going right back into it, but the thing is, man, when God lets somebody come like that into your life, bro, and he'd be so consistently coming to try to just help. Or it, it, We mm -hmm. never had a, a situation that broke us apart, really, when you think about it. Yeah. So, man, R.I.P. the Big D, bro. Crazy, bro. That's a tough one, man. But anyway. I got a question. So, you said that you don't like hearing your voice, mm. but... I know that you're about to branch off into being a voice oh, yeah. actor. So how you don't like to hear your voice, but you're going to be into a voice actor? I don't know. Uh, damn, that's a good question. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to start doing voice acting. So like for cartoons, like animation, like Disney movies, I'm going to start yeah. going to auditions for them. Um, I um, They asked me to, to narrate uh, Lil' Tim's yeah. documentary, Lil' Tim, the King Von situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I narrated that. And um, so you already did that. When is that? I already coming did out? that. I don't know yet. I just submitted the audio, and uh, they're doing more interviews. I think Charleston White's in it. Um, I want is six nine in it. Um, it's a lot of people in this documentary, it's, and they're they're shopping it to like Hulu, Netflix. It's supposed to be like a big mm. situation. Who is doing it? Uh, these cats from damn you going. You gonna don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, no, good people though. Good people, good people. I met from uh, Georgia. Good people I okay. met from Georgia. I just don't know the company name. Okay. But um, yeah. So I'm I'm really about to start doing that. And like I told y'all with the boxing shit, like I just really like exploring like shit. Like I don't know what this is gonna lead up to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it could be a big time Disney movie. It could be. Um, I don't know. It could be. It could be anything. But is this something else to just Help me sharpen my tools, you know? Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.